I'm not going to include that one today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, and those who attended the stag weekend. And that includes you, Dad. <laughs> First of all, on behalf of my gorgeous wife and myself, we would like to welcome you to all, all to our special day. And thank you all for attending. It means a lot to us both that so many people so close to us can all share the day with us. We'd also like to thank everyone for all their kind gifts and wishes. People say that weddings bring, bring out the best and worst in people. Over, excuse me. People say that weddings bring out the best and worst in people. And over the last week or so, that certainly stood true for myself and Mel. However, the best part is that for the first time in seven years, I've had to put my wife before football. <laughs> and the worst part is also that I've had to put my wife before football. <laughs> now I'll move on to my thank yous. Firstly, I'd like to thank Peter for his kind words. I hope that over the last seven years I've helped to balance the power in the ripping household <laughs> and give some male feel to the conversation from time to time. <laughs> I should also apologise for not seeking permission to marry your daughter, but this was probably in case Mel said no. <laughs> I know it's seen as a done thing, but I genuinely didn't tell one person. On a serious note though, I would like to thank both Peter and Rosemary at this point for making me feel so welcome over the last seven years and welcoming me into their family. I could not have wished for a better set of outlaws, uh, I mean in-laws. <laughs> Joking aside, you have made things very comfortable for me whenever I'm around, and I'm very grateful for that. I may have eaten you out of house and home and drunk all your beer and wine. <laughs> well, now we've finally moved out, it's Mel's turn. <laughs> On behalf of us both, we would also like to thank you for your contribution towards today. Mel would also like to thank you for your support in the run towards today particularly over the last year. She would like to thank you for being fantastic parents and for giving her a wonderful childhood, and also for your support you have always given her in everything she's done, including her education, the year out when she went to Slough, and last but not least, when going out with me. <laughs> Finally, she says that you won't get rid of her that easily, and she will still be coming round on a regular basis. More to the point, so will I. <laughs> <laughs> Many of you in the room will know that cooking is not one of Mel's areas of expertise. Yeah. With this in mind, and moving into our new home so recently, I thought I'd better sort myself a stop gap while she improves her cooking skills. So if it's okay with everyone, Mum might be around Sundays and Tuesdays, Rosemary Mondays and Wednesdays, <laughs> Kerry, hope Thursdays are okay, and Nick here, I'll be around on Friday for my tea. <laughs> Don't anybody panic about Saturday, I'll find a nice takeaway in Kibble. <laughs> Next, I'd like to move on to my parents. Firstly, Mel and myself would like to thank you for your contribution towards today. I can't begin to express how grateful I am for what you've done for me. Throughout my childhood, and ever since I've grown <coughs> up, well, almost, you've always given me your full support in whatever I've done. It may have took you nearly 30 years to get rid of me, but now I've gone, I hope I can make, make, make you both half as proud as I am of you. If there's one thing I'll take from the two of you, it's the fact that you've always worked tremendously hard for what you've got. And for that reason, you deserve everything you get. I will try to set this quality through the remainder of my life, as I'm sure it will stand me in good stead. At this point, we'd just like to thank both mums and ask them to come up and collect a set of flowers in the Whilst on the subject of my family, those that know me and Daniel know that not a lot of, lot of conversation takes place. <laughs> However, today's the day to thank him. 
not only for being my brother, but also my mate for the last 27 years. I know and you know we'll always be there for each other, and that's all that matters. I'm not sure if you'll be thanking the next person now. We're in about half an hour. But our best man, Tony. We've, uh, we've got a lot of memories to look back on over the years, and most of the good ones include socialising in our time on the football field. Today, though, I'd like to thank him for being a top mate to me over the years and for taking care of me on the snow field, which took some doing. Also, I'd like to thank him for all the effort he put into making the snow weekend a success and for his support and help in the build-up to today. At this point, we'd just like to uh, give Tony a little gift as well, so thank him for his efforts. to our one and only bridesmaid, Charlotte. Without elaborating, it's safe to say you've had a tough time. But both Mel and myself can't begin to express how happy you've made us both by being our chief bridesmaid. Even with what you've been through, you've still been a constant support to Mel and a fantastic sister, which I know she's thankful for. Not only do you look fantastic, but from where you were 12 months ago, you should be a very proud girl because I can categorically say that an awful lot of people are very proud of you. And again, we'd like to uh, give you a little gift as a token of honour. Daniel James, Josh and Mark for doing such a grand job earlier today. You've all scored pretty well, I must say. But on behalf of Mel and myself, we'd all like to thank you all for your efforts. <laughs> That's almost it, but I thought I'd better save the best for last. Mel, as you know, I'm not one to express my feelings on a regular basis. <laughs> and today's time for an exception. To me, you look amazing every day. But today you took the word amazing to a completely different level. In the last seven years, I've grown to love everything about you. Even if you can't cook and can't be anywhere on time. <laughs> Not only how beautiful you are, but also the person you are. You always have a kind word to say. You're always so easy going. But for me, your best quality is that you always put other people first. There are very few people like that. And for that reason, it puts you into a special category of person. Today, however, is the day to put yourself first. Even with your lack of cooking ability and punctuality defect, all that matters at the end of the day is that I love you. I just hope that in the years to come, I can give you half the happiness you have given me. Finally, on behalf of both Mel and myself, we just hope that you've all enjoyed the day so far and we look forward to celebrating the rest of the day with you all. Thank you. <laughs>